Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I'm celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video, we're going to be getting into a Photoshop retouching tutorial showing you guys how I remove stray hairs around the image. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I like to do when it comes to removing stray hairs is going in and actually analyzing and zooming in and out of what needs to be done. I know in the back of it, we want to clean this up, make it more uniform, but at the same time look natural. And then also at the top of the head, we want to do that same particular task. Keep the, you know, wet and wavy look to the hair so that it looks natural, but at the same time, make sure we just like clean it up a little bit more so that it's presentable. presentable. All right, so the way I do this is going into the clone stamp tool. I go in with the clone stamp tool and then I immediately start to do a brush stroke sampling around the areas that I want to change. So all of this I'll start simply just brushing around. Thank y'all for the loves and the hearts. If you're viewing this video as well, thank you for subscribing to my fan base exclusive content. And I'm just going to start brushing this brush stroke all around the image. And I'm going to start out a little further back, but at the same time as I keep going, I am going to then start going in closer and closer. I'm going to start zooming in closer and closer and we'll start, you know, correcting those imperfections. And it's okay when you're doing this as well to change your opacity because you're gonna have some areas that require more assistance than others. So as I start going around the images, you'll start to see me keep going up and down and kind of like playing with the opacity, uh, just making sure I get more of a uniform result and also changing my brush stroke. Some will be high, some will be low, but at the same time, as long as we're making progress and you know, just moving in that uniformity, it's like it's all good. And see how we're already making a difference? And I'm just going to keep going throughout this. And it's okay to zoom in and out as well, just to keep track of the progress. stroke a little bit bigger and we're just going to keep going up and we're going to particular moment all right cool go down a little bit get back into my layers panel There we go. And you know, some parts of it, it takes a little bit, you know, of time to get it done, but at the same time, anything that is done with quality takes time. So don't let that be a you know, something that hinders you from going about this process. It's all about that detail that you put into an image to make it, you know, a final, a great final result. And if you're just joining in, we're cleaning up texture in here, removing stray hairs from the image. And we're going to go up top and repeat the same thing.
and we're now almost nearing to the end of this and I'm just gonna keep getting closer and closer. zoom out a little bit let me actually do this with my mouse just to get a little bit more precise. Alrighty. And there we have it. And that's how you go from this with all of these different, you know, straight hairs to not having it anymore by simply just using the clone stamp. Now, it's another way you can do it as well. If you wanted this to be even more precise and refined, you can simply go over and use, let's see if we can find it the actual pen tool and what the pen tool will do is allow you to create selections around the image and then you can just bend them and you know maneuver as you're going and say if this was like a beauty image where the hair was really you know refined and you just wanted everything to be very very precise you can use the pen tool select around the areas that you want to change Come back up here to the selections, click select. You can come right back with the clone stamp tool. And we can just start brushing over where the selection is. And after you finish that, oh, sorry, let's go back. After you finish that, you can make that into a new layer. Here, let's go back one second. We're just going to like go and repeat this cycle. Messing, messed it up just now. But all we're doing is just cloning into this uh, little bracket that I created. And there we go. So say if you were doing a beauty image that required you to, do, you know, just go in and do a little bit of extra work on just having the hair more refined, you could use the pen tool to go in and do that as well. So I hope this video helped you. I hope that you enjoyed yeah heck yeah what's up ivan uh this video if you want to see the full thing in detail in video form definitely be sure to head over to my fan base exclusive and subscribe it's a lot more educational content there as well that i know that you will be able to take away from and you know help you to take your work whole to a whole new level so thank you for tuning into the video thank you for being a part of my fan base exclusive content and i'll see you guys right back in the next video